This presentation will go over the three effective ways to cultivate self-discipline. This is one of the keys to help you achieve your goals in the best way possible. It's easy for us to procrastinate or do nothing. And when that happens, we seem to catch ourselves falling behind. The important thing to remember is that you'll need to be able to stick to your self-discipline plan in order to achieve the success you aim for. Without it, you'll have no clear goals and you certainly won't have that drive to get the job done. With that said, let's dive further into our presentation and show you how to cultivate self-discipline in three easy and effective ways. The first one is to set clear goals and prioritize. You want to take a moment and write down the goals you want to achieve. You can also break them down into small sub-goals that will snowball over time. Afterwards, you want to prioritize them. If there are any time-sensitive goals, you want to prioritize them by deadline. For instance, let's say you plan two goals with specific deadlines. The first one has a deadline of one month while the other has a deadline of six months. The first goal should be prioritized since you have less time to accomplish it. Now that doesn't mean neglecting the other goal. If you have a task for that priority goal, do it first. Then you can work on the tasks that pertain to the other goal. Does that make sense? Focusing on the priority tasks first over everything else should be the thing to aim for. The second way to cultivate self-discipline is to create a structured routine and good habits. What you want to do is build a routine to where you're performing certain tasks throughout the day. Scheduling those tasks for a specific time will be important. If you follow a routine schedule, you'll know what time it is and what task that needs to be done. Plus, it'll help you build good habits in the process. So if you keep going with the same routine, it'll feel like second nature. It will be just another day at the office. Sure, it'll seem mundane or tedious, but it won't be the case. As long as it's inching you closer to achieving your goals, it won't seem like a bad routine to do. Finally, practice mindfulness and self-awareness. Stress may arise when you're trying to build your self-discipline. The idea is to take a moment out of your day and breathe for a few minutes. Find a peaceful place where there isn't a lot of distracting noise. Furthermore, close your eyes and let your thoughts wander. Pay no attention to them. Just acknowledge them and move on. When you're more mindful, you're aware of what's going on around you. You'll identify what might be stressing you out. But the thing with mindfulness is that you can be able to control your stress levels. And when you do that, you're doing both your physical and mental health a favor. That will be all for this presentation. It's important that you use these three ways to cultivate your self-discipline. As you follow this list, you'll notice that you're feeling more accomplished. You'll also feel like you're stepping out of your comfort zone one step at a time. A self-disciplined individual is unstoppable when they have goals to achieve, and they're focused on them. Thanks for checking out this presentation. We'll see you next time. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.